Hello and welcome to Edutainment. I'm your host, Michael Dotton. When we think of hip hop, we think of rap music, break dancing, platinum CDs, and millions of dollars in sales. But rarely do we think of the artists who don't make it big. Forced to get low paying jobs, most don't even have health insurance. Well, Grassroots Artist Movement, or GAME, has done something about it. Joining me now is L. James, founder of GAME. How are you doing? I'm doing all right. Hi, Mike. Good. Glad you could come. Listen, Good. tell us about the, your organization. Tell us about GAME. Well, GAME, Grassroots Artist Movement, was uh, started in 2001. And some of the focuses are hip-hop union, uh, health care. We're trying to provide uh, artists with health care. And not just artists, but those who feel um, that they can't afford health insurance because there's 45 million people without it. And uh, that includes artists. When we first went into uh, building game, it was just the hip hop union focus. We got all this information, all the statistics on health care uh, and artists not being able to have health care uh, because the industry has a, pretty much a, a policy on not insuring artists. Right. So that was our focus, was on getting artists health care making sure that promotion was tight, making sure the contracts made sense to artists, they, it was clear, everything was definitive, they knew what they were getting in terms of royalties and everything. Now, now getting to the insurance aspect of, of your organization, how exactly does your insurance, or getting your insurance rather, differ from, let's say me, go to a job and the company has a certain insurance policy that they deal with? How does well, it differ? Well, see, we don't have health insurance, uh, they have insurance it's, uh, it's, it's very different. We have more like uh, benefits or access to, to health care. And what it is is that we built a network, a game health care network is, is the name. And what happens is we organize doctors within the city. Mm -hmm. And what we understood with it was a difficult task turned out to be a little simpler than we thought. You know, we asked for something and we might get it. We sure. asked doctors uh, who, who, who are in the community and uh, if, if they can devote some time, volunteer, maybe an hour or so, uh, a week, and we were, we were impressed. You found doctors who found to do that. that? They actually said yes. You wow. know, prescription, even dental and medical is free. We got, actually have artists going to the doctor today and non-artists going to the doctor at this very moment. That's, that's, that's amazing. But let me play devil's advocate for a moment. Hip hoppers, they're rich. You hear about the bling bling, the crystal, the 20 inch rims. Why do they need to get free health insurance? Well, that's a, that's a, that's a really a myth because, uh, and, and I'll tell you, uh, statistic is 15, between 15,000 and 25,000 is the median for uh, the average artist. This is annually. Yeah, yeah. This is annually. You know, this is, this is all artists. A lot of artists, what happened is if you take $100,000, and you spread it over five years, you got yourself $20,000. And that's what happens in a lot of cases. Artists will sit on a label. When you first hear artists, you, that artist's been on that label for years right. before you actually heard them. And, and, and they, have all an, hard. they have an expense account that's grown so, so large that right. they, don't, they don't have to make, they have to make millions in order to make up their money. Correct. Well, what used to happen in, in, the, uh, in the old days of the music industry, where you didn't have to pay for recording fees, you didn't have to pay for a recording studio, anything like that. Right. And now you have a different situation, and there's no health insurance. Well, I tell you what, when we come back from this commercial break, we're going to talk to a legend in hip hop and find out what he thinks uh, an organization like this would have meant back in the day. We'll be right back. <laughs> If you don't know that song, then you definitely are not an old school hip hop uh, listener. That is UTFO, and that was their hit song back in 1985, Roxanne Roxanne. And on the phone now, we have one of the members of Roxanne of UTFO, Tango Kid. Tang, how you doing? Hey, I'm doing good, man. Now, you're old school, 84, when hip hop was just getting coming into its own. How do you think an organization like this would have uh, benefited you and the whole of hip hop back then? Well, first, let me correct uh, old school. I'm, I'm still a young cat, but... Uh, uh, okay, okay. <laughs> Hip-hop legend, how does that sound? Uh, there you go, I prefer okay. that. Uh, <laughs> but uh, actually, I got in, in the business when I was uh, 16 years old. Right. So, uh, you know, of course, I didn't know anything about business, per se. I mean, I, I was an entertainer. Right, exactly. And uh, I fed off of the crowd applauding for me. That was my payment. You know, I, was, I wasn't really interested on 
you know, I'm, I'm making any money doing this. I just really personally enjoyed it. And uh, years later, I realized that this was a business when we were giving, you know, checks to our employees, which were really, you know, our boys that were on the road with us, exactly. taking care of our, you know, our business. And uh, when they received checks and on the checks it said UTFOs, when it started to hit us, wow, we're a business, we're a company, and these cats aren't just our boys, they're our employees. You know, so that's when we started to wake up to the fact that, you know, we're, we're actually working. But uh, things like health plan and so on wasn't part of, uh, you know, our job description. You, you, were, you were having too you much know. fun to get sick. Exactly. You know, if you got sick, we canceled the show, and then she got well, we put the show back in effect, and that was that. Go handle your business with your doctor. You know, exactly. but, uh, you know, no one ever thought of it on, on this level. No one ever actually never thought of hip-hop getting to where it is right now, where one would refer to it as a company or an industry. Right. You know, it was just, again, entertainment. It was just, uh, you know, as far as we consider it with our peoples, it was our, our family entertainment. Right. You know, now, now, I'm, I'm sorry, I can't do interrupt sure. you. Um, so, L, here it is. We have a uh, hip-hop legend. Uh, on the phone here, and how does it feel hearing him, you know, respond to how your organization has, number one, affected the industry, but number two, would have affected it had it been around back in the days? Well, first, I want to say hi, Kango. Hey, how are you, man? I think definitely there was a foundation back there, and hip-hop is, it should, has, it should get a lot of credit because besides gospel, it's one of the only uh, music genres that actually had a creed back then where you had an organization such as uh, Zulu Nation. And here we have these organizations that right now is trying to preserve uh, uh, hip-hop. So I want to say uh, that it's going to grow. What we're trying to do right now is a game health care plan. And the game health care plan will buy us into a network and we'll be able to subsidize it. We already have some artists that are, that are looking at it and in terms of, you know, fronting some of that, that, that those resources that are necessary. Now, now these like sponsors, like let's say the more affluent uh, hip hop artists, are they looking to maybe sponsor you financially? Yes, yeah, some of the artists, uh, such as uh, RZA, have uh, been looking into from the Wu Tang Clan. From the Wu Tang Clan, uh, and one of Dead Prez is our spokesperson. Uh, or Moto Technique is another spokesperson. Uh, he's more on underground level, but he's been able to uh, sell records on an independent level in t tens of thousands. Listen, if you want to get more information about the Grassroots Artist Movement, what's your website? Uh, it's www.kickgame.com. That's K-I-C-K-G-A-N-E.com. L, thank you very much for coming down. And Kang, thanks thank for you. being on the phone with us. My pleasure. My name is Michael Dotton. Thanks for watching Edutainment. Mm -hmm. And I'll catch you next time. <laughs>